guys, welcome to Mike and May's Great Adventure. You see the side, Flagstaff 20 miles. Flagstaff. It's up in that mountain right there. Yeah. On the other side of Flagstaff, basically on the other side of that mountain, 49 miles is the truck stop bed. Stop we're going to is on the other side. The other side of Flagstaff. Over there, honey, there's a black rock. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You see the road going up on it on this side? Oh, yeah. Cuts back and forth. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm throwing a little bit, everybody. I don't know what that guy was doing. Yeah, he, he pulled in front of us. Shot over to the left lane, I guess, to let Old Dominion by and got in this guy's way and then cut back over in front of us. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I just wanted to show you the mountain we're gonna cross. We're gonna go over that mountain. Yeah. And then on the other side, it's a truck stop we're stopping at. Which I, I kind of. I hope. That's, I hope our view is like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's up to us to look for the right property to have a view like that. Um, but yeah, okay. Hang in there and we'll show you some stuff up in the mountain. Flagstaff, Arizona. That's why. Flagstaff's in that one. It's a beautiful mountain guy. Yeah. I'm looking at the land down here around it. This is the ideal land at May and I thought would be nice. It has these junipers scattered through it. You could clear some out. I wouldn't want to clear many. Because your cattle can still graze in around them. But it gives a lot of shade, a lot of wind break. And it breaks up this breaks up the plain old boring stuff. I think it would be nice to have a piece like this, but we'll see. It, I don't know that we'll easily find the right property. I think we're gonna need to probably take about a one to two week vacation and meet with a real estate agent that travels a little. Yeah. So that we can go look at a lot of different places. Yep. Because I, I want to get it right. You know, I want to have a balance of accessible water if, if, if it's too expensive well, if to drill. Well, here, if here, honey, I like here. Yeah. I think water would be more accessible with the, with the mountains there. There would be some kind of runoff. Um, and I'm really thankful for that guy that that brought that up because I, I didn't realize what it would cost to drill. But at least I won't be surprised by that. Now we can come up with a different idea for getting water. Yeah. And I don't mind hauling or carrying water. It's no, no big deal as long as you know, the price is reasonable. I know it won't be cheap. But if it's reasonable, you know, I'm okay with that. I just have a feeling that around here you could catch you could catch enough water if you had enough storage to offset a lot of cost of, of buying your water. Um, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but normally when you're by a mountain like this, there's runoff in the spring when spring and, and summer. There's uh, water here because look at that pine tree. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But this is a little... Oh, no, that, that's still nice there on the right. You could graze your cattle with them on there. You, don't, you just don't want it too thick. If it's too thick, yeah, then there's not much grazing ground. But... 
lot of places to look. <laughs> We're going to be going, I don't know if I mentioned, we got our next load. We're going to load 10 miles from where we're delivering it. You're not, you're not featured that yet. Okay. We're going to load live load in North Las Vegas immediately after we drop this load off. We'll go get in line to live load. And we're going to load, I'm assuming, plastic bottles. It's only 6,500 pounds. And that's going to Denver. Yes, we're going to Denver, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be able to take May the way that we were going to come out, and I changed my mind. I'm going to see the Denver fight. Well, we have no choice this time but to go home that way. So she'll get a new state, Utah. So go through Utah and then... We're going to go right to the area where I, I saw the land online. Oh my goodness. Where I saw the land online, and it's very affordable and beautiful, good grazing. It's flat, flat land, like in a valley in the mountains. You're surrounded by mountains the whole way around. So we'll get to look at that. And, uh, That'll just confuse us even more as to where we want to buy land. The one thing we know is we want to get as much land as possible for as cheap as possible. And then we'll deal with what that brings as far as if we got to carry water or what we got to do. We'll deal Black, with it. Black, black stop. Yeah. I know that it's like black stop. Wow. <laughs> Flagstaff. <laughs> All right, so this is the many faces of Arizona. I mean, if, it's here. if I told you guys, if I saved this clip for a couple days and told you we were in Colorado, you would you would probably agree. But yeah, this is. Just went by the, it's called the Arizona Divide, 7,735 feet in elevation. To give you an idea, at the bottom, when I did the first segment in this, it was 72 degrees. And we're up in the mountain, it's 52 degrees right now. That's how much we climb. <laughs> we're, we're over the high part, we're starting back down. Truck stop or stay, and that's 26 miles. But Arizona is definitely pretty cool, you know. Just this part of Arizona, that I like this part. Yeah. Because you know, there's a look at that the tree, and then in summer, I have. I mean, in the summer, I think this area is not really hot. No, it's not. And actually, if you drive. North, which is to your right, honey. And then we are close to Grand Canyon, right? Yeah. But if you drive to the north, which is to your right, baby. Mm -hmm. If you drive north, just oh, 15 miles up into that real tall mountain we saw. Even in the summer, there's snow up there. Wow. So you can drive 20 miles to our south in the summer. Well, you can swim around here, but 20 miles to the south, you can swim where it's really hot. Change out of your swim clothes, get your ski gear, and drive 40 minutes to the north up into the mountains and do a little skiing if you want on the snow. So it's pretty, pretty diverse. Well, folks, <laughs> this may possibly be most beautiful truck stop that I have ever stayed in. I was hoping to get down out of the mountains where it's warmer, but that's why we got a generator with heat. This is this is pretty special. Um, in the morning when we get going, 
it's all downhill I love that so we're definitely going to mark this one on our uh, favorites in the in the GPS and anytime we run out this way try to time things out so this is where we stop but thank you for watching everybody please subscribe comment share and like until next time take care